to Noah Gregson Land, the winner of last year's Homestead Miami. Yes, pretty much dominates Homestead unless a star gets in his way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he won't be there this year. I was, I was looking forward to him being at Homestead and see how well he does. But that 42 car is still slow. You know, what, you know what to say about legends, they're in the past. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry Car Carson. Yes, so, the winner from last week was a guy named Adam. Oh, he sucks. Congratulations, Adam. Uh, only person to pick Kyle Larson for the win. That's crazy. <laughs> I clearly said in the video, you should pick Kyle Larson. And guess what he does? He sweeps the stages and the win. That was 40 points up for grabs. Uh, Victor picked William Byron, which was only 10 points. Think about it. That was 30 points that you could have gained. Yeah, Byron was there, but he just went. Byron was there. I picked him. <laughs> he was... But anyway, I would like to also say congratulations to Riley Herbst. Yeah, awesome win. Awesome win. It seems like win. Well deserved. Yeah, he's... He didn't just barely win. He dominated. He just like he said that he flat out beat them. Like Fourteen seconds, I would say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so it seems like every time Victor has a bad race, everyone else does too. Besides but you. They have a. Well, I'm not going for the fast picks. The thing. car. This is the I'm car. This is the car. Not this one. This is mine. I will even fight Noah for it. Even if I was going for that. I um, would still lose. So, I think I'm like 100 points behind Victor if I was doing that. So. Yeah. It's very shocking that. Uh, Blaney, Do you want to take my spot? <laughs> it's very, very shocking that Blaney got disqualified. It was just raw deal. So. Yeah, so. That sucks, but uh, let's move on to Homestead. You can even see where he was on the wall. Yep. Not scrubbing the wall, you you left something out there. So the truck series. They truck will, series coming off vacation. They will be finishing up the round of eight. Yeah, this is their cutoff. So final four will be set after this race. So. Who were you picking? Uh, I know he's not, well, he's not doing the hat trick anymore, but I'm going for Carson Hosevar. Carson Hosevar. And I am picking Zane Smith. Zane Smith. You're in a must, situa must win situation. You're in a must situation I win. When, I hate when that happens. Did I just skip a word? But anyway, you're in a must win situation, so you better you win. You must win. Okay, you Do you know win. what that means? It means he's gonna have to walk off win. You better win. I'm going with Christian Eckes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no wow factor to that at all. We'll see if uh if the drama continues between Matt Crafton and Sanchez. Yeah, uh, so. I think Sanchez is still in Yes, um, I think he's kind of needs to win. So I don't know. I really don't place. watch. It, I don't with watch the truck trucks. series. You forget what the last time. By the time they go again, that's yeah. I think he pretty much knocked Crafton out. Yeah, and then Crafton knocks him out. So <laughs> <laughs> literally. Yeah. So um, yeah, Christian Eckes. I think he's had a lot of speed this year. So I'd say he'll be in victory lane. Now. Move on to the Xfinity series. Xfinity series. The series series that used to be good. So, especially at this track. I'm going to go with one of the fast ones, John Hunter and Nimitz. John Hunter, no He come. He was close. Not. He just couldn't. He drove always from the back to the front, but just couldn't get to the very front. Yeah, <laughs> there was no getting to ride her. <laughs> no. And I am picking Justin Algar. Justin Algar. 
Do it's not longer. fail me this time. So you pick two of the big three. Which I don't know why Austin Hill is considered the big three. He's just, like, yeah, he did really good at the beginning of the year, but where has he been? Oh, yes. well, he won. There it is. Well, I did put him on the phone now. Um, I am going with Sheldon Cree. Sheldon Cree. His teammate. His teammate, yeah. I think, uh, you know, he wants to do good for RCR because he's gone. He's leaving. So. Don't know where he's going. Back in his bag. And then awkward go win and go win the championship for him. <laughs> Bye. Well, you, gave, you gave me everything. Hemrick did that. Yeah, Hemrick did that. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like Homestead would suit him. Uh, I didn't go back to see how he did last year. He might suck. But I don't know. He did pretty good at Darlington last year. That kind of has similar don't know uh, beat. similarities. Yeah, he's probably got him. At the Robo. Yeah, so, so I think he's gonna pull a hair out. He's gonna pull a hair out. He's gonna pull his hair out. <laughs> oh, he's gonna <a> hell humor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Sheldon Creek. Uh, I would also pick Cole Custer. If you're yes. trying to beat Victor and Victor picks John Hunter, pick Cole Custer. He's trying to help you. Out. I'm trying to help y'all because I don't want Phoenix to be boring and be like, oh yeah, Victor won a long time ago. Yes, and you're probably going to hear a lot this this word all the way through the broadcast. Dale Jr. Dale Jr. Dale Jr. Dale Jr. So that's all you're going to hear. But he's Why? Also he's no good. <laughs> but he's going homestead. I think it is terrible for Junior to just go into a playoff race where he could eliminate his own guys. Well, yeah. he didn't want them to win a championship last year. As long as nobody gets buried. So. It'd be funny if Del Junior gets buried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean Josh Berry wrecks him. Yeah. That, that's what I mean, people. Yeah, because yeah, Berry's very we good. mean Josh Berry wrecking people. Josh Berry people. is very good with wrecking his own teammates. We don't actually mean burying people. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween, so. Josh Berry's emoji, like remember when they had the playoff emojis? It needs to be a show. It's a great replay. All right, let's move on to the Cup Series. The Cup Series, uh, pretty slacking race from Vegas. Yeah, Vegas Lundluck puts on a good show. Homestead last year, Kyle Larson destroyed him. Oh, absolutely destroyed him. He wasn't in the playoffs then. He's locked in now, so yeah. will they be more focused on Byron? Yeah, the points here are very tight. Unless you go back towards where playing, he must win this race. So if you're in a forward. If you're in a forward, you gotta win. And also, uh, if you're a forward, make sure your your car is in. I mean, Flaney was 17 points back. He wasn't necessarily is not cheap. Good, but I mean, he had a good finish, but with the shocks, is just. I feel like they just don't yeah. like Fords. Yes. <laughs> uh, so right now the Chevys are on the top, Toyotas are in the middle, Fords are at the bottom. So uh, Chris Busher, he could. Bring some of that magic back he had in yeah. the regular season. Can Truex uh, turn it around? Can Truex. He had good speed towards the end of that race in Vegas, but Truex is having a playoffs. I'm I believe like Kyle Busch in 2019. He sucked through the whole thing, and then the final race he's gonna walk walk off, and then finally be it's good. Like a tactic they wins use. the championship. It's probably a tactic they use. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna pretend we're. We are losers. We're gonna pretend we suck. And then we we'll then barely get by. <laughs> yeah, he's been barely squeaking by through these, these rounds and uh, struggled early on in Vegas that had a good finish. So. You can't barely squeak by this time. You have to perform. So who are we picking? You know who I'm picking? Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin. He lost three points 
last week, so we'll see what we can lose this week. He does have a win at Homestead, but it doesn't wasn't. matter. He's going to scrub the wall and ruin his day. I see you're very confident in your pick. Very confident. <laughs> Emily. I am picking Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson. So Larson says he's locked in. He's locked in. Playoff points mean nothing. Bob's still going to win. He's going to go and win. He's very confident in his abilities at Homestead. Uh, I really wish this was still the championship race, even though everyone I know. else. I Noah would have won the championship last year. Everyone not named Kyle Larson would hate that. Or Noah Grayson. <laughs> if he was uh, doing it. But I'm going with the guy I, I would say is second best at this, sty this style of, of track. That's Tyler Reddick. Yep, he likes running the high line. We'll see if it works for him or where he get in the wall. Wouldn't that be crazy? Tyler Reddick gets into the final four while his team owner, Denny Hamlin, does not. Knocked out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a very tight he battle. He knocked out. I think, <laughs> uh, I think William Byron is fairly safe. He's just, have, just had, got to have a good day. I think Byron would also be a good pick for this one. Truex is a maybe. Uh, Blaney is a. He's a total. I maybe. would stay away from Blaney. Because if you think he does bad, he's gonna do good. If you think he's gonna do good, he does bad. And you know, uh, Kyle Busch is running good at Vegas. I think he's really here, here very well. He's gonna run here. He's gonna run here too. <laughs> he's not even gonna be in the car. He's gonna chase these I, cars. I think, I think they might have found some speed or something. And I think he's, it was the wrong time to find the speed. And you're it winning. don't matter. A win's a win. <laughs> Um, yeah, then we got the rest of the Toyotas. Chris Bell is very close. I uh, could see him winning this race as well. Yeah. Uh, so, I would definitely pick, pick him for your pole pick. He's good at winning the pole. So. Um, yeah, it's getting down to the wire. We only have two more after this one. Yep. This one and then Mark Veil in the championship. So. And uh, we might be bringing back our live streams for the final two races, possibly. It depends on our schedule. Depends on our schedule. If the schedule lines up, we're going to do it. I definitely want to do it for Phoenix. But Martinsville might be cool to watch along. And Martinsville is best to go in person. It's see who gets in. So, good. Yeah. so uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Good luck to all of your picks. And we will see you next time.